Welcome back to my channel and back to another core reactor where I react to some interesting things that I found on Quora. Most of them I haven't read anything but the, the title yet. Some of them I have. Uh, like this first one. It says, is it even possible to switch to a public health care system in a country like the U.S. that has only private for profit health care systems? Which is a reasonable question uh, if you're interested in the topic and haven't done a deep dive into it. Uh, and the Joyce Wright uh, response is every country that currently has universal health care, which is 50 of them, uh, originally switched from a for profit model. So pretty sure we can too. And then I replied to Joyce, and in addition to that, we already have Medicare, Champus, TRICARE, um, and the Veterans Administration. And since I'm a disabled military brat, I've been on government health care almost my entire life. So, uh, yeah, I think it would not be any trouble at all for us to implement one. And it's something we desperately need. <clears throat> Why do some people deny the scientific fact that there are only two gender genders, dismissing the idea of gender diversity? And very elegant response. <laughs> We deny the scientific fact that there are only two genders because that's not actually a scientific fact. The scientific consensus is that gender, just like autism and sexuality, is uh, a spectrum. <laughs> Adds a, a snipe in here at the end that says you've been told this numerous times, so you're refusing to be educated. So what's your point? Okay, this is from the middle of last month. It's uh, actually uh, exactly a month old now. Um, it says, How come far-left media isn't covering the insurrection yesterday at the Capitol by groups of terror sympathizers? And I have to again remind people that America doesn't have a far-left. America barely has a left. Most of what the right calls the left are actually the center. Um but the Joyce Wright again, his response is that it wasn't an insurrection, it was a protest. Unlike Jan 6, which was clearly an insurrection. You don't attack a government building and call it a protest. Is it possible to indoctrinate a child into thinking it's the wrong gender? Uh, no, we've been trying to do that. Um, with homosexuality for generations, you know, we had the pray the gay away and the conversion, quote, therapy, which is very much not therapy, um, but is you know, torture. Uh, just like most things um have Zula here his gender identity is hardwired and if you try to force your child to live differently than what that hardwiring tells them then you're going to traumatize them and potentially drive them to suicide that's why there is such an appalling suicide rate among lgbt youth <laughs> uh, the queer community, how would you react if a conservative politician questioned the validity of your identity during a live televised debate? Well, such person would be an ignoramus, so I wouldn't care. But I'm not part of the queer community. Um, I'm Demi, but I don't really count that as part of the queer community because I'm cishet otherwise. Uh, Andrew's response, I'm straight, but I know what response I would like to hear, which is, Voters, you heard me discuss in detail the policies I intend to follow to serve your interest in getting better jobs, better health care, public health and safety, improving infrastructure, addressing environmental issues and immigration concerns. What was my opponent's response? Don't for the other side, they're a queer. Which is all my opponent has, folks. <laughs> that's pretty that's a pretty clever response, actually. That's really good. <laughs> uh 
Why are so many women friends with gay men? It doesn't make any sense as all gay men are, by definition, misogynistic. Um, I want to uh, see this idiot's definition yeah. of and this gay. Is, um, this Kevin F. is responding with basically what I was thinking, which is, you know, I'm neither a woman nor gay, so I can't answer the question from experience. However, uh, some of Kevin's female friends have told him that they like having a guy friend who won't ever come looking for a romantic relationship. And uh, Kevin seems to be confusing the definitions of misogynistic and attraction to women. But anyway, um, I know a lot of gay people of a variety of genders. None of them I know of is sexist. At least not overtly. You know, we all have those long ingrained biases that we sometimes don't even know about, but even that, I, just, I can't recall having seen in any of our gay friends. And my wife's from Asheville, so we have a lot of gay friends. Um, yeah, that's just, that seems uh, completely wrong. Why do many atheists fear Christians in the U.S.? I've never seen a single story of an atheist being mobbed and burned in this country. Um, yeah. Christianity... Well, a corrupted form of Christianity runs this country. Uh, previously from behind the scenes, now they've become pretty overt and they're just coming right out and making the Bible into law. Well, they're twisted interpre interpretations of the Bible into law in various states and trying to at the federal level. So far, they've been prevented, in the latter at least, but... Wow. Okay, these are some things I didn't know about. Um, uh, take this with a grain of salt. This is a random Canadian saying this, but none of this would surprise me. Um, but he lists several states that have passed laws basically saying you, know, you can't serve if you're an atheist including my home state of North Carolina, which uh, Article 6, Section 8, the following person shall be disqualified for office. First, any person who shall deny the being of Almighty God. See, I got to look that up. And I'm surprised that my other home state, Virginia, is not on here, honestly. Let's see here. Wow, that, holy cow. Uh, I, I knew I lived in a backward state, but, I wow. You know, you can't serve if you're not allowed to vote for someone to be in your office. That's reasonable. If you've been found guilty of treason, you can't serve. Again, that's perfectly reasonable. If you deny the existence of God, that's a clear violation of church and state. Well, I know what I'm going to be petitioning my uh, congressman for. Wow. Um... I'm typing them. Uh, that I had to look that up. I'm not surprised that my home state of North Carolina is um, in the list. Hmm. That is honestly quite terrifying. <laughs> so 
Someone asked just generally, what do women hate about men? Um, that we have a death grip on power and won't let it go. And we'll, well, we won't share it with them. That's really... That's the only thing I could think of that um, women actually have to fear from men in general. Um, yeah. <laughs> from men thinking that we're their sex toys. Yeah, that's a problem. Learning about 11 or 12 while still children playing with our dolls. That, you know, dads and grandfathers uh, think we're their sex toys. Yeah, that's uh, appalling. But uh, they do abuse children of all genders. I would assume that it would be mostly girls, but I don't know that. that you have to accept being harassed as a compliment. You know, wolf whistles and the like, the stereotype for the construction worker and woman walks down the street. Yeah. <laughs> if you'd be mad at somebody else doing to your sister, daughter, or mother something that you're doing, then you know, you're a piece of shit. Which, yeah. The rules are the same. However, double standard. <laughs> oh, my. How do you respond when religious people say everything happens for a reason? Now, this one was of interest to me because I haven't even been an atheist for a year yet. And it's something that I wonder about. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a good response. It said, my older sister was beaten so badly by her ex-husband that she miscarried and spent three weeks in the hospital. One of her eyes had to be removed. It was so badly damaged. Uh, and then 18 months ago, she died from small cell lung cancer. God's reason for this was... Yeah. That sums it up. There's really nothing I need to say to that one. <laughs> Why would men waste their time trying to become trans women when they could just be gay men without having to go through the surgical procedures? That is so much ignorance in so small a space. One of them is your gender identity. The other is your sexual preference. They have nothing to do with each other. Two completely separate things. But you just can't convince people of that. Because people don't want to learn. Oi. You don't try to become trans. You are or you aren't. Just like you don't try to become gay. You are or you aren't. If you think either of those things is a choice. Then choose it. For five minutes. Choose it. Choose to be a different gender. Choose... To be attracted to the opposite sex. I mean the same sex rather. If you can't choose it. That's because no one can choose it. It's pretty simple. Uh, coincidentally this person's response was on our wedding anniversary. <clears throat> if evolution is true and has endless amounts of evidence. Then why do evolutionists and atheists get so angry when someone asks for real evidence? Wow. Provided so much. I mean, even even a decade ago, I still doubted uh, evolution. But in my case, it wasn't because of religious 
issues. I'd gotten over those in college. Mine it was it just didn't make sense because I didn't understand it well enough. What turned me around was uh, when I learned that, for instance, with the uh, lactose tolerance, the idea was that people got desperate and started drinking milk from other mammals. Uh, some of them were randomly able to digest it and some weren't. And so the ones that were, were the ones that went on to produce offspring in Western Europe, which kind of makes sense to me now, but I saw on a, a thing on PBS, I think, or it might've been a book I read. I don't know. I learned, I learn constantly, so I, I don't remember necessarily the sources of all of it, but I'm careful about my sources so I can trust them. But in this particular case, it was proposed the thought that it could be that those people got desperate and started drinking cow milk and then had all the, the issues from lactose intolerance, but it was better than starving to death, and so they continued to drink it over time, their body learned how to digest it, and then that got encoded into their heritable DNA and passed on. And that's why I am now able to drink milk at the age of 47. Not because of random chance, but because the body adapted to conditions not you had a random mutation that made you better fit conditions but that your body's intentionally not from your mind but from your body's intentionally adapted that made sense to me and once that cracked the window open I was able to look in and finally see and I still don't understand evolution entirely I don't know if anyone does but um, I've I was no longer a creationist even before that, but and young earthers are another thing that I'm not going to get into right now because there are plenty of great people on YouTube about that already. <clears throat> Is it true that studies show that children raised by conservatives are happier and have less mental illness? Um, no. Nope, that was an easy one to answer. Uh, that's good, yeah. Let kids be kids is a pro-transgender sentiment. If you want your kid to live their childhood to the fullest, let them be who they are rather than confining them to your norms. Why can't people have opinions without being labeled as bigots? Um, <laughs> okay, I like uh, Franklin's answer here. Green Day is the best thing to ever happen to modern music. That's an opinion. Botticelli is overrated. That's an opinion. The architecture of Frank Lloyd Wright is neither as novel nor as noteworthy as his fans believe. That's an opinion. Black people are inherently inferior to whites. That's bigotry. There you go. Glad I could help clear that up for you. Well said. Can a police officer arrest you if you're sleeping in your car? Um, if you're sleeping off a drunk in your car, but you're not driving. Um, I'm on antidepressants, so I'm a teetotaler, so this wouldn't apply to me. But it's an interesting question. And this person apparently had a friend in that situation. Um, he, <laughs> he put his ignition key into his trunk. And then went to sleep in the back seat. And he was charged with a DUI, because that's stupid. Wow. Boulder, Colorado in 1989. That's really dumb.
Now I could see if, you know, he still had his keys on him. Cause then he could have just jumped in the back seat and be pretending to be asleep, um, while the cops walking up. But he would have to get out of the car, walk around to the trunk, open it to get the key. That's pretty inaccessible. This is one I don't entirely get. When will LGBT reparations become a legitimate social debate? So, you know, reparations for descendants of slaves, I can support because people like me have done everything they can to keep them down, keep them poor, keep them... Uh, as close to being slaves as they can by paying them a crap wage ever since the end of the Civil War. And it hasn't gotten much better yet. It's uh, it's no longer acceptable overtly, but that doesn't really do anything to stop it. It just stops it from being overt. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, this is from someone who apparently uh, is on the LGBT plus spectrum. He said, I don't want anyone's money. What I want is several billion forced from every church, group, and organization, and hospital, which did conversion therapy, which again, is not a therapy. Take all that and put it in a fund for mental health counseling for all of their victims. That I could definitely get behind. That's really clever. Uh, I'm going to bookmark that one for later. <laughs> we can't see oxygen, but we need it. The same applies to God. So how do atheists feel about that? Like, well, for one thing, we can see oxygen. Using spectroscopes. And... Um, Atheists don't need a deity, so, yeah. It's just kind of a dumb question. We know oxygen is real because we're not dying. We can breathe. That's all the proof we need of oxygen. Somebody who doesn't know how to spell TERFs. <laughs> Why do TERFs not want to share women's bathrooms with self-identified trans women? This person, again, I'm presuming from the tone of the answer, I'm presuming is trans. The funny thing is I've shared bathrooms with TERFs before. I never bothered them. I don't think they even knew. One of them was in my political group years ago and was completely oblivious to the fact that I was trans for years until I said I was. She was also suspended from the party for saying a literal cis woman was trans and questioning why she was on a woman's meeting and if she was lying about being cis. Gender madness goes both ways. Turfs and woke bullshit. Both are equally turning a witch hunt and aggression out of fear and loathing. And that last line is an interesting addition to the rest. Huh. Why do feminists say that men and women are equal when virtually in every sport <laughs> men are way better? Um, it's my understanding that the reason that chess does um, sex base separates the sexes for tournaments is that men got tired of getting their asses kicked by women. So that kind of invalidates the entire question right there. And said, okay, let's grant for a minute that you're correct that men are better than women at games and sports. And <laughs> life isn't about MMA or chess. So since when has 
I am good at beating the shit out of people and or winning board games, therefore I deserve more rights. Been a coherent argument. And yeah, that sums it up pretty well right there. That's just a really stupid question. Will being gay ever be accepted and normal in society? It is. It's a very vocal minority of people who, at least in America, who oppose it. Yeah, interesting. Eileen here is Irish <laughs> in Holy Catholic Ireland, where the word of the priest is all. And we voted for same-sex marriage by a landslide majority. Irish people traveled from all over the world to get home to vote. Interesting, they apparently don't have absentee voting. It's so now gay marriage is legal. There were a bunch of proposals on the day of the referendum and a bunch of gay marriages soon after. The country didn't fall apart. Hetero couples didn't automatically divorce. The world didn't end. And now gay couples are even used in advertising. Yep. Well, well said. Is there more consensus among historians that Jesus lived and was crucified than consensus among scientists on global warming? <laughs> no. Historians think it was very likely that the Jesus in the Bible was based on an actual person. Uh, and disagreeing with that is a perfectly reasonable position and quite a few people are mythicists. Um, and yeah, no one who isn't a Christian is 100% certain that he was an actual person and not just completely made up. Um, which, uh, yeah, given given the historical records of the time, it just makes sense that he was a person. Um, and scientists know climate change is happening. <laughs> it is marginally less certain than that gravity pulls a rock to the ground when you drop it. Disagreeing is regarded as contend to flat earth astrology, young earth creationism. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. We have scant evidence that Jesus was real, but we believe that. We have overwhelming evidence of climate change. And so some people deny that. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. That's it for this time. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next Core Reactor.